Let's catch up with the weather forecast now. Here's Nina. A bit of a soggy start here in Manchester anyway. Is it going to brighten it, it up is. for us? It should brighten up here in Manchester. It'll brighten up for many places. It's a pretty wet start right across the UK. We've got low pressure swinging by. Now, that low pressure is not bringing strong wind, thankfully, to the Gulf as at the open, but it is going to bring some rain through the morning. It should clear away, so the potential for a few showers later on. But equally, things brightening up with temperatures around 13, 14 degrees more significantly will be the fact that the winds are much lighter. You can see the isobars fairly open. I think some of the strongest winds today could potentially be through parts of northern England and the North Midlands. But plenty of cloud around through the next couple of hours with some further outbreaks of rain. It's steadily clearing away some of the heavier downpours heading towards Yorkshire through the East Midlands down towards South East England. For Wales, things will brighten up in the next couple of hours. Still keeping a few showers moving through Devon and Cornwall. We'll see temperatures starting to climb at around 15 to 16 degrees. But we've still got a bit more clouds, some outbreaks of rain to the South East first thing in the morning. It does look likely, though, that that will have cleared by the time we get to the cricket through the mid-morning. Then with the sunshine breaking through, temperatures climbing into the afternoon. Still perhaps a little bit cloudier to northern England, parts of Scotland. And here's still the risk of one or two showers into the afternoon. But for many places, there'll be some sunshine around. We've got those brighter skies through Wales and the Midlands. Here, temperatures lifting into the low 20s. Further north with a bit more cloud, we've got highs of 16 to 18 degrees. Through the night tonight, the cloud will increase once again. We've got another set of weather fronts drawing their way up from the southwest. Not bringing a huge amount of rain this time. It's really patchy and light. It could bring a lot of mist and murk in across southwest England, Wales, and to Northern Ireland. That will help to keep temperatures up here. A much cooler start to northeast Scotland, but at least some early sunshine. Predominantly tomorrow, it is looking fairly grey and overcast with plenty of cloud around. The rain turning heavier to the northwest later on in the day. Further south, temperatures will lift with the odd hint of brightness here or there. Again, up to around 25 degrees in London. Temperatures not changing a huge amount on Tuesday and Wednesday. A fairly unsettled feel. We've got some weak weather fronts around, keeping things quite cloudy with a few showers around. I'll have more details for you in around half an hour. Nina, thanks very much. It was a bit wet and miserable when we woke up this morning, wasn't it? Certainly was. Mm. Nina can tell us what's in store for the rest of the day, though. Hello, Nina. Hi there. Yes, and it's improving picture. We're seeing one area of rain moving through southeast England. There are a few showers following on behind once that line has cleared through. Some sunshine coming out, but still looking a little bit cloudy with some rain at St Andrews for a little while longer. But even here, the rain is going to move away. Still the potential for a few showers. More significantly, we've got those at lighter winds, although they'll be changing direction through the morning. So it will make things pretty tricky for the golfers out on the course. You can see we've got low pressure moving through Scotland, keeping those weather fronts and some outbreaks of rain going for the next couple of hours. Northern Ireland seeing the showers clearing through, drier with some brighter spells. The heavier showers moving through Manchester, so we'll see some sunshine here during the next couple of hours. Brighter skies extending into Wales, but still quite a bit of cloud. Here's that line of showers that I mentioned pushing through the Midlands after that main area of rain moves away from Essex and towards Kent. So there will be a window of dry weather before a shower, few showers move through, but that second line of showers is expected to clear Lords this morning and then it's looking dry and fine with some sunshine with rising temperatures into the afternoon. We'll still keep a few showers this afternoon through parts of Scotland and northern England. There is a little bit more cloud here but the showers should be fairly well scattered. Mostly dry with some sunshine across northern Ireland. Still quite breezy through northern Ireland and northern England with highs here of 17 to 18 degrees. For northern Scotland at around 14 degrees and our top temperature south east England 24 to 25. This evening and overnight we'll see a lot of mist and murk and low cloud being drawn up through southwest England, Wales, a bit more rain arriving in Northern Ireland. Clearer skies to the northeast of that, so here we're just dipping down into single figures. A chilly start to northeast Scotland, but a bright one. Elsewhere we've got a lot of cloud tomorrow morning. It's looking quite grey, murky. There'll be some patchy light rain and drizzle. Through the afternoon the rain turns heavier in the northwest, but it clears away from southern parts of England and Wales. With a little bit of brightness here, it could feel quite warm, Humid and muggy at 21 to 25 degrees. Very similar temperatures through Tuesday and Wednesday where it's looking fairly unsettled with cloudy skies and we're certainly expecting a few showers. The rain's clearing this morning though. Things should be brighter this afternoon. Back to you too. Thank you, Nina. Great stuff. We'll be back with the headlines at 8 o'clock but now it's time for the travel show with Carmen Roberts.